first, I must say uh, thank you very much for this invitation in Hamburg. Uh, I had some Persian piano uh, night, I mean concert here in 2013. I have very good, uh, can I remember my good feeling in Hamburg. But uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm director of International Office, University of Art. I'm interested for any exchange students and professors is possible for your university with my university because the art university of tehran is the biggest uni comprehensive art university in the middle east you have seven faculties in music education music and cinema cinema and other uh, kind of art and for two, four months i get this position as an exchange okay Mm, actually, my PhD thesis was about Persian piano music. And uh, mm, Persian piano music is a, uh, due to the lack of communication between Europeans and Iranians and the lack of adequate means of communication before the area of Nasreddin Shah, 1831 till 1896. Music is Iran not affected by European music. But after establishing a branch of military music, the arrival of, arrival of musical instruments from Europe, and getting the military music students familiar with the instrument, gradua uh, gradually people could identify some musical instruments such as the flute, clarinet, violin, and piano, with, which is what uh, was possible to play Persian music. Because before that area, Iran was a little bit, I mean, not con connect with European, but after they established this uh, music faculty, I mean, military faculty of uh, music in Iran, and we have some exchange with French, especially, and Germany, too. The pianos first appears in Iran before Nasreddin Shah, was throat import. That means they take one piano to Iran, and uh, that was by, uh, one gifted from the Napoleon, uh, the king of uh, French, to the king of Iran. Uh, and uh, we have now, there are two pianos at Golestan in Golestan Plast in Iran. Golestan is a, one museum in Iran. And uh, this piano uh, funded in the time of Shah Abbas. An upright piano prob probably belong to the beginning of the regime of Nasreddin Shah, made by Ignaz Pleyel and company in Paris, France. France. A double piano made by Pleyel, also is, is there, there is the two, these two pianos in Iran and uh, in the museum. Generally, after arrival of the piano in Iran, uh, in Iran, those who played the piano can be divided into two, two groups. One people started to play with piano classical music. Excuse me, you take some two hand to hold the piano. Ah, okay, good. Because I can hold the piano. Yeah, I transport the piano and position this, but I was on time because in plan was 10 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after arrival of the piano to Iran, the two groups tried to play the piano. One group played the classical European piano, like Beethoven, Bach, Chopin, and some people they tuned the piano and uh, tuned the piano to quarter tone. And uh, that's very interesting because that make one uh, other literature for piano, Persian piano music. Today, the, uh, in Iran, about the today, I would like a little bit explain about today what happened now in Iran. Today, there are six different type of music in Iran, which included classical Persian music. You can find many musicians they play classical music, guitar or violin or other thing. Iranian ethnic music. In every region of Iran, we have ethnic music, different ethnic music, um, in Baluchistan, in Kurdistan, in Azerbaijan. And classical, uh, classical Persian music is based on radif, 
Radif is a modal system of Persian music. We have seven uh, main modal system in Radif. Sega, Charga, like major and minor in classical European music. But we have seven, seven branch of this modal system. The name is Radif. They play the Persian piano, the Persian classical pianist, uh, Persian classical musician played Radif with traditional instruments like tar, setar, santur, and kamanche. And also fusion music, uh, like Persian piano music or violin, Persian violin music uh, is a fusion because these instruments came from Europe to Iran and they play some Persian music. And Iranian pop music and underground music is included rock, rap, and hip hop. Uh, there are also some 1,100 private studio teaching school, mostly in the capital, capital Tehran, where tuition is offered on both uh, traditional Persian music and European classical music. But piano in Iran is the most popular music instrument in almost 1,100 private studio teaching schools in Iran. Uh, yeah, checking the Berliner uh, phonogram archive in Berlin, for the first time I was found at a very old piano recording called Persische Klavier, Persisches Klavier, Persian piano, which was played by Nasser Ali Khan, likely the Colonel Ali Nasir Khan, a student of Olam Reza Khan, uh, Moazes. This piano music is available in the archive on LP, by Bidaphone Company, maybe you know the Bidaphone Company is a very old company, is very famous in Iran. Many, this company was very active in Iran and they invited many musicians to, the, to London or, they, or in Beirut. Also, we have some recording for Persian music there. Uh, this music is by an LP by Bidaphone Company and maybe the only copy. This recording belonged to almost 100 years ago, which recorded in Persia. You can hear it, maybe. That I find this Persian piano music in phonogram archive in Berlin. It's like imitation from the tar and setar on piano. Uh, it's a string instrument, like guitar, <coughs> the Persian traditional instrument. No, no, it's good, it's good. That's good. But some part of music in Iran is orally traditional. Is traditionally uh, form of the trans. Uh, I mean, transport the music is orally. That means the professor plays something and then the students repeat it, repeat, repeat, and then memorize it. But from this reason, some musicians in Iran now also they believe the music is not written. That we we don't 
we, ha we, we have not possibility to write the music because the music is the sound, is the voice. That's not, is, we cannot ri write it. From this reason, there is, there, we have no many recording. Uh, there is some recording in LP or something like that, but not very huge recording of Persian piano music. There is not exist. But uh, Mahjubi, we have some recording radif, uh, traditional method by writing. The traditional method of music education in Iran is oral education. This system of ed education is also called sine be sine, means oral teaching. In this old method, the master plays a piece or part of a piece and the student repeats it in the class. The master finds the mistake and the students practice at home until the next session. The students learn the lesson by memory, by repeating in the class. In this method, notes and written material are not usually used. But we have some uh, notation from Persian piano music. Every kind of music can be written down. Since the beginning of the 20th century, Western notation has been used to written down the repertory of Radif. This is, uh, this is difficult, however, to write down all the details of the interpretations. interpretation. One has to make do with an appro approximation or a simplified transcription. This notation is belonging to Mahjubi. That's a very old notation. They wrote the all things for piano, but with Persian alphabet from, uh, from right to left, is opposite of the left to right. Mm. That uh, is uh, registered in uh, Intangible, Intangible Cultural Heritage by UNESCO in Iran. That's, I do that in 2012, and part of this notation is registered by this UNESCO things in, uh, in this year too. I, do, I did it. But I, I must do some briefly because we would like here are some pieces from Persian piano music repertoire. Uh, some conclusion from this, um, uh, this presentation is uh, importance of recording and importance of notation. And uh, Radif as a base of the music in Persian piano mu Persian music, actually. And Tar impact of Persian style music, I explain it. Um, for example, in Tar we have Riz, they say repetition tone, they play one with finger and like this, they repeat one tone again, again, again. But that came to the piano. To the piano with this format, for example. Like this, repetition. I will play some pieces from this quarter tone piano. <clears throat> okay. We would like Play some, I would like to play something. Oh, yeah, you can provide it. Some people say that uh, it has more influence from Western music. But some people say it's very original in you know, Persian piano music. For example, that's uh, some of the combination influence for Chopin, for example, in this piece. Or the second piece.
And uh, <clears throat> the next thing in Homayur, this is the one uh, uh, model of the Rabbi. Homayur is in the internal city, the going at the door of the Homayur mode. That's the finger, that's the sound. Life is like this. <laughs>
the last one is in the I would like to ask some of you because we would like to explain that we have interaction. Because I would like to explain about the improvisation. Because then can I mean could you some of you maybe think in a little it's not not another very short and stop and then I would like to move out in the very end of time. It's not not another which can be European energy which is African energy. Absolutely, it's not African energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like only because I uh, try to uh, make a fear uh, quarter tone with this piano, a little bit ready. I would like to play maybe.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.